Well, good news coming from South Andros High School as more students have passed national exams with high marks. DeAndre Williamson has more. One of South Andros High School goals is to improve students' national examination results. This year, Jolanda Raming made her school proud as she performed exceptionally well in the Bahamas Junior Certificate examinations. I passed nine subjects, eight of which I'm happy, four with A's, two, two with B's and two with C's. South Andrews High is also proud of 12th grade student Dorica Smith who passed subjects in the Bahamas General Certificate of Secondary Education exams while in the 11th grade. The teachers only allowed me to take two and there was Spanish and language even though I know I was capable of more and I am really disappointed that I didn't put up a fight to take more. I got two C's because I only took core. Both students say they reap those results because of their dedicated study habits. I prepare by studying almost every day and every night. I take breaks sometimes and I usually read out loud to memorize. When I go home, I'm usually a person who likes to eat. So the first thing I do is take off my uniform, eat, catch a nap. I study most of the time in the mornings. I wake up like around 3 and then I study study and study until it's time to go to school. Sometimes, you know, I miss some drops back sleep. But most of the time I study in the morning because after school my brain is tired and I am tired. So I use the morning to study. Overall, when compared to last year, Principal Sheena Duncombe says the school's BJC results rose by 16%. We had about 65% of the grade 9 class um, passing more than four BJCs and more than the required that's required for the National High School Diploma. The last year, moving into this year, we encouraged them to write the four subjects required for the National High School Diploma with the threat that if you don't pass them, you will repeat. And I think it worked. <laughs> it worked. Rami and Smith have some advice for other students who will be taking BJC and BGCSE examinations next year. We ask for a tutor if it's necessary and to continue pushing yourself to be, hard, to be the greatest and just do you and be good at what you do. One of the most important advice I have is to not let no one, not even a teacher, tell you you can do something that you know you are capable of doing. That was my mistake. Do your best and never give up. The Lundy Foundation co-founder Leon Lundy told ZNS News that both students will receive tablets for their outstanding performance. From South Andrews, DeAndre Williamson, ZNS Network News.